So what do you do to stay fit? Um, to stay fit, I would do push-ups if I'm not doing anything at all. Mm-hmm. I'll do push-ups um, in the mornings, maybe max 30. I'll do, yeah, but when I was a little young, I would do, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that old, but when I was a little young, I would do 50, 60 straight up. And then oh. if I had time, I would go over and do another 30, another set of 30. Yeah. And then body weight exercises and mm. um, spot jogging and stuff like that. I hate cardio. I'm not a big person. So, wow. Yeah. Though I have the ability to, I, I rather not. I prefer. I, I tend to like cardio. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just I just like cardio. I actually prefer cardio over weights, even it, though you just can't do any it's cardio. Good. Yeah. It's good. Um, now most fitness uh, instructors or people, the new fitness um, rave mm-hmm. is a cross between cardio and weights. Yeah. So high intensity weights, yep. but cardio it's it's really good for the body. Yeah, it's yeah. it's easier too because then there's the excitement and the intensity. By the time exactly. you realize you've done a lot, do you know your weight? Do you know how much you weigh? Um. Uh, well, a few months ago, earlier earlier this year, yeah, I was about um, 70, 75. You're sure? 70, yeah. Because I'm 75. Yes, I was. Seven, no, you are more. Maybe <laughs> you I'm should lying. be more. Maybe I'm lying on the way. <laughs> <laughs> you should be like 78, 79. Yeah, thereabouts. I think I think 70. I dropped and then I'm, I'm sure I'm probably like 78 or so. Yeah, I think so. I think, yeah. I think, yeah. Because cause last my check was 75 when I stopped working out and watching my, my diet and stuff. I, I, I'm sure I'm still around 75, but hey. <laughs> you, you wish. <laughs> <laughs> what do you eat? I'm a bit of a picky eater um if you know food can be a chore mm-hmm. you know so what if if you have to eat then you have to enjoy what you're eating but i th- i think i tend to do more vegetables and um meats mm. or proteins mm. yeah every now and then at lunch well you find me eating the local dishes once in a while but i prefer interesting combinations of um vegetables and um meats and some protein uh, some um, starches yeah. okay so so how intentional are you about your food like are you the kind of person that in quotes curates their food every single thing they eat every day or as and when you feel like you will yeah as and when i i think my preference my taste preference actually leads me to what i eat so okay. there's certain things that i see it and i don't even feel like, like. eating it uh <laughs> you know um you you'd come home or no, not even that. I mean, you go out for lunch and you're going through your choices and there's plain rice and yes. beef stew. And <laughs> yeah, some of those, uh, that's little, a continental dish. No, no, that's not, no, no, no. I can't, I can't do, I can't do that. Yeah. Or the whole pile of yam and, yeah. uh, palava sauce. <laughs> palava sauce. I, I can't do that. I prefer <laughs> to have a, if I'll do, yam and palava so then i probably have to cook it myself yeah and probably and make it the way you make want it the way to, yeah. i want to you to to eat i i like to have well spiced not overly spiced but something that's well spiced mm-hmm. you don't want food that is bland yeah you know so when i'm at home i like to surprise myself okay let me combine this and that let me combine this see and how it that works, and yeah. see how it works out so what's your favorite drink um favorite drink if i am out i like refreshing stuff i can't do sodas mm. i'm not able to complete a full bottle of coke mm. for some reason i'm not able to do that so fruit juice most times um a good um this drink uh i drink it when i go uh, chapman mm. okay. yeah it's a it's a it's a, it's a cocktail, it's cocktail yeah. yeah yeah i i love the chapman and yeah light um chillest like um cocktails with a little alcohol mm. in it yeah i'd, I'd do that I, th- I think my favorite drink is well apart from watermelon juice it would be <laughs> it would be a mojito virgin mojito but the thing is i've only had it only three times and it was done well the rest is either a bit exactly. too exactly or it tastes like armpit i mean <laughs> <laughs> you know what you i know, mean a good a good mojito or, or a virgin one at that people like to cheat with um with um this uh, sprite with, with yes. sprite or yeah. a good mojito, crushed mint leaves, mm-hmm. brown sugar, lemon juice, yes. and plain soda. Yes. Then of course for the alcohol, the yeah. rum or yeah. whatever. But that's a good mojito. Yeah. But people who cheat with the the, the, other the, the other things, the sprites and then the seven ups, <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> you know? 
how would you rather have your space? Since I mean, since you said you're minimalist, how would you rather have your space? Um, not too clinical. I've said this not before. Not too stark. Not too stark. Human beings live in the yeah. space. Yes, as cozy as possible, as clean as you can, cozy, because you clean. need mm-hmm. and organized. And um, yes, of course, minimalists um, keep the essentials, what you need, immediately around you. I know my wife is going to be like, you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real, um, put away as much as you can yeah. and clean the space. Uh, it makes it, you know, a, a breath of fresh air. You want to come into the space and enjoy the mm. coziness and the cleanness of the space. Yeah. It said that every minimalist has one thing that they have too much of, even though they might not tell the public. So, so what's the one thing that you have a lot of? Do I know? What do I have a lot of? in terms of my space space possessions one thing that you have a lot of that that if they tell you to put them away you you would you would say no <laughs> so so rec- it was, yeah, it's a recent thing i really didn't have that many shoes mm. then um i started working small and then started oh let me buy this, buy shoes, buy this. Yeah. i think shoes shoes will be it um but i don't wear all of them too that's a funny mm. thing so probably shoes and books Mm. oh no 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 it's not it's not books it's um pieces of my notes papers and stuff those are things i find difficult to let go of no i mean i think those are very personal and very very personal yeah so yeah, yeah. it's but okay within, if you keep them exactly but within the space yes i'll say yeah my shoes and clothing what kind of music do you listen to oh if if you were to create a playlist of 10 songs what oh, genres would, would have Definitely, um, I have jazz in there. Mm-hmm. Jazz is the first thing. Um, lo-fi hip hop, mm-hmm. uh, gospel, mm-hmm. worship music. Um, then, compa zook mm. uh, and lovers rock reggae. Mm. Yes. You don't like I'm a piano. What's that? Ah, that is. <laughs> the... <laughs> how how would you define your style? What is your style? Yeah, my style basically um, neat, simple, keep it simple and um, make whatever you have pop, you know. So what I, I tend to like to do is um, whatever I have, I like to wear it nicely, wear it right. You mm. know? So I keep it simple as much as possible. I don't like to go over the top. So you're a minimalist? Minimalist in my in my approach. So, mm. for example, if I'm wearing prints, I prefer two-tone African instead prints. Of overdoing it. Instead of overdoing it, I don't like large prints. Just simple, clean um, prints. Mm, okay. Now let's talk about your favorite pieces of clothing. My favorite pieces of clothing. Um, I'll say my jeans. Jeans. Okay. Yes. It's everybody's I, favorite. Yes, I love to just you know if I'm not working. Um, my trousers. Yes, I like to have them clean, um, cut, you know, and fitting. Mm. Um, yes. Uh, By fitting, you mean slim. Not slim fit, tight <laughs> slim fit, yeah. but just fitting, comfortable but well fitting. Would you wear loose pants? Like recently, loose pants are bad. The whole silhouette of having more fabric around your your legs. Is it something you would do? I, I think back in the day when it was fashionable, yes, I did. Yeah. But I don't. But it's still. I, but it's back. I it's mean, back. But I don't think I'm seeing myself going. Back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see myself going back again. I feel uncomfortable when the thing is a little too loose. <laughs> I like the snug fit. Okay. You know. Do you have a skincare routine or a grooming routine? Hmm. Grooming routine. Um. I, I well, I didn't use to moisturize a lot. Mm. Um, it was just lately that I started um, applying moisturizer to selected parts of my body. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, I mean, face, I'm a, hands. face, hands, the essentials. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm a typical <laughs> the ones guy. That's, that's, that's the public who see. The public sees, <laughs> yeah. So, um, I'm not too good there, but every now and then I like to treat myself to a facial just to get the excess oil off. I have a very oily skin, so mm. I tend to like to wash my face a lot just to get the sheen off my face. You know, it makes me look, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, manly? I like to, not even manly, like harassed. Mm. 